Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, August 29th. Man, summer's almost over. Just flying by. A potentially beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. We had unbelievable storms yesterday. It's supposed to rain all day today, but I haven't seen any rain yet. It cooled off quite a bit. August. I know there's some really uh, significant weather happening down south. Uh, Louisiana in particular uh, with this hurricane that's coming along so I sure hope everybody is uh, safe and sound down there so I'm smoking some Pegasus which I'm gonna have to reload because uh oh I'm also gonna have to refill my lighter bad planning uh, I was I was about to record this video earlier this morning it's it's about two o'clock now I think I'm gonna record it earlier this morning excuse me while I get my fluid and uh, something came up, and I haven't had a chance to get back to it, so I had a half-smoked bowl of Pegasus that I have now come close to finishing. And I got an empty lighter. Such is life. But, you know, otherwise life is good. <laughs> uh, we had a great time last night on the, uh, uh, not last night, Friday night on the live stream. It was a solo live stream, and I, 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 I really enjoy those. Great group of guys. I love interacting with them. Lots of fun. So, if you haven't seen that, maybe you want to check it out. Um, also, um, I'll, I'll jump in right here and just say this Friday, we've got a guest. We've got uh, my buddy Kevin, Kevin, who is uh, Hobbit and Piper. And he's got a great YouTube channel that you should definitely check out. I'll put a link down below to that if you're interested. And uh, by all means, come by and see us on uh, this, fr this coming Friday for a chat with Hobbit and Piper. So, commercial's over. There we go. Uh, so I am, uh, I wanted to talk today about some purchases that I made or I'm about to make and both of them are things I never thought I would do. So I, I thought this might be kind of fun to talk about. So I'll just jump in. I bought a Kindle Paperwhite. It hasn't arrived yet. I ordered it from Amazon. Um, I never thought I would do this. So I do I do read Kindle books. I can read them on my phone. I can read them on a tablet. I can read them on a laptop uh, or a desktop for that matter. There's a free app that you can use and you know it's it's it does pretty much everything that the, the Kindle itself does. But I've been I've been reading a lot more off of the the electronic format stuff just because there's things that you can get. Like right now I'm 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 reading um, what the heck is it? Uh, P.G. Woodhouse. There, there was a really great article on P.G. Woodhouse on, uh, I think it was smokingpipes.com has a magazine that's associated with that. This was written by Chuck Stanton. Really good article. Um, I'll try to link to that below as well. And I, ha I read some P.G. Woodhouse in the past, but I really haven't read a lot. Uh, he was a pipe smoker. He had a lot of pipe smoking in his story. So anyway, I wanted to read and so I, he's, he's got like 37, 38 novels or sh collections of short stories, things like that. And I said, okay, where do I start? So I went on Amazon and you could get the complete works of P.G. Woodhouse for like $1.99 and, you know, on a Kindle. And I thought, why wouldn't I do that? You know, I, I'm, I could buy these one book at a time and I'd wind up filling up a whole shelf of a bookshelf with them. Uh, maybe more, or I can just get them all at once and start at the beginning, and that's what I did, and I've been really enjoying it. <clears throat> so I've been reading a lot more off the devices, and at nighttime I like to read, and I just feel that it's harder for me to go to sleep when I do that. You know, if I read off a tablet, it's harder for me to go to sleep than if I just read a regular book. And the beauty of the Kindle Paperwhite is that it's it's not a it's an illuminated screen, but it's illuminated from the sides, and you can adjust the level of illumination. And it apparently has much less blue light than something like a cell phone or a tablet, which is a backlit uh, LED system or LCD system. So anyway, that's a pretty long story to say. I bought a Kindle. Um, 
hasn't arrived. It won't be here till next week, I think. And of course, one of the reasons I have um, pushed back against getting one for several years now is not just that I'm cheap, but I don't like being tied to Amazon's selection. You know, I, I just there are many reasons why I don't want to just read Amazon what Amazon provides me. Although they do have a massive library, so. But there are ways now that you can link the Kindle to your public library and actually borrow books on the Kindle, which is quite nice. Uh, there are ways that you can access things like Project Gutenberg uh, and get the files in a format that you can put onto the Kindle. A little more complicated, but it can be done. So, you know, it, it opens up a lot of possibilities beyond just what Amazon has. And for a lot of the stuff that I read, you know, I'm not looking for bestsellers and stuff like that. I'm reading older stuff and you know like I said I complete works for a dollar fifty dollar ninety nine something like that uh, quite inexpensive so anyway I'll let you know how that goes I'm looking forward to it and uh, I just haven't I've been fighting it for a long time and I finally gave in so I thought I would fess up some coffee ah, it's been a busy morning I'm gonna pardon me Got to move my ashtray over and empty this out because it is done. By the way, this is my uh, Briar Spirit Janus pipe. And I'm going to switch over now to Haunted Bookshop. And this is just my second bowl of the day. It's, it's, uh, what time is it? It's a quarter after two right now, so it's been a busy morning. So the other thing that I, I haven't pulled the trigger on this yet, but I, I think I'm going to do it, and it's, it's funny, it's another thing that I never thought I would do. I'm thinking about subscribing to a classical music service. So I like classical music. Um, have forever. And one of the things that's always frustrated me about classical music is, and it's a little hard for me to explain this, so let me, let me go to, to, to rock music for a minute. So if you're a fan of, let's say, the Beatles, right? There's a canon of Beatles albums, and you know what they are, and there's, I don't know, 20 of them, whatever. And then there might be some studio recordings or some live recordings, or, you know, they, they kind of get added to the end of that. Um, maybe you got remastered things, you know, that, that, that gets added in. And then, of course, there's bootlegs, you know, that kind of stuff. So that complicates it a bit. But by and large, it's, it's accessible and it's understandable. You know, you can say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get all the Beatles. You, you could do that. Um, other groups like Grateful Dead is going to be much more difficult because of all the soundboard recordings and everything else. But you get the point. It's limited in scope because you're talking about a single band producing their music and playing it. Now you get into classical music and it, it's not like that because you know you're not listening to Beethoven you're, you're listening to Beethoven's composition and you're listening to Beethoven's composition played by a particular orchestra and you're listening to that orchestra conducted by a particular conductor and we have recordings going back to the early 1900s so it it becomes really difficult to say to yourself you know I, I mean, and probably foolish to say i'm going to collect every version in existence of beethoven's fourth symphony you're probably not going to be able to do that and if you did you probably wouldn't have time to listen to it but it makes it a lot harder to get a grasp on the music you know it, it's just it's bigger and And then there's all these periods, and you know, I I tend to focus on the true classical period. Um, you know, things like Beethoven and Mozart. But you know, there's there's everything going all the way back to medieval music, and you know, coming forward all the way to to present day, and and it's just vast. And I don't I don't know how to 
get a handle on it and I like listening to it so I, I've got Sirius XM and I can listen to Symphony Hall and that's great but I have to listen to what they tell me you know what they put on uh, we got a classical music station here that's run out of Temple University my alma mater and uh, it's fantastic and I like listening to that too but I'm t pretty much tied to what they want to play and sometimes they play stuff I don't enjoy and so I, I, I've been trying to find a way to just say okay I'm gonna listen to this and YouTube's great, and there's a lot of stuff on YouTube. Um, so recently I've been interested in listening to some of the early Philadelphia Orchestra Eugene Ormandy uh, period. And there are a few available on YouTube, but not that many. And there's a lot more recordings out there, and I could buy them, but that's not cheap. Um, plus, I don't really understand how people buy stuff anymore. Like, you buy the files, and you have to download them, and then you got to keep them somewhere. And I, I, don't, I just don't understand it. I'm, I'm too old and set in my ways to do that stuff. So I found this this service, this app, after searching through quite a few, and it's called Prime Phonic. I'm not advertising this. I'm not suggesting you use it. I just want to let you know what I found. Um, I have no no relation with them at all, other than I downloaded their app on my phone, and I'm currently doing a 14-day free trial. That's it, and you can do a 14-day free trial too. So no, no promotion here, but it is fantastic. So it has just everything in one spot. So you can search it by composer, you can search it by orchestra, you can search it by conductor, you can search it by period, you can search it by title. Any anything you can think of to identify a piece of music, you can search by that. But then once you find the piece of music, let's say Beethoven's Fourth, just just to stick with that. Um, you can find every recording of it that they have and they they have uh, I forget what I was looking at last night but I was shocked to see that there was over like 432 versions of this one piece each one of them you can find the album that it's on and if it's just a, if it's a short piece and there's other pieces on that album you can see the other pieces that often are by the same soloist oh I left out soloist earlier that's another thing that complicates things uh, might be by the same soloist or by the same orchestra or whatever. Um, you can go in and learn about the piece. You know, there'll be notes on it. If there's a booklet that was included with the record, you can download that and you can read it. And by download, I mean you click on it and it opens up. You don't have to save it somewhere. Um, the, it, it's just really remarkable. And and then you can you, you can jump from one thing to another. So. You know, maybe you're you're looking at this Beethoven piece, and it will say up top classical period. Well, you can go to classical period, and you can find other pieces that were from that time. The really cool thing that that I found, uh, and I've only been using this for two days, is they have a podcast series that starts with medieval and goes all the way up to modern, and it's just like a thirty to forty-five minute podcast that you listen to, and it gets into a lot of detail about the history of that period. Uh, important individuals and little snippets of music that you can listen to but then this 45 minute podcast has a three and a half hour playlist associated with it which is musical pieces that were referred to in the I just love this I really am excited about it and I've, I've wanted to find a way to do this without paying it's $9.99 a month something like that and I thought, you know, this is worth it. This is, I may not pay it for years on end, but for a couple of months, I'm going to try it out and just see, uh, see if I enjoy it. So I wanted to tell you about that. It's called Prime Phonic. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can link below to that as well. Uh, I'm not going to link to Kindle Paper Whites because you know what they are. Uh, and again, I've got no, no connection at all. Just stuff that I'm excited about and I thought you might enjoy hearing about. That's wonderful with technology. You know, there's, boy, if there ever has been a double-edged sword, it's technology, especially today. You know, just, what, 10, 15 years ago, it was unthinkable. Well, maybe it was longer than that. I'm getting old. Maybe 20 years ago, it was unthinkable that you would have immediate access to any piece of classical music that you would want to listen to. And of course, the kids are used to having immediate access to any piece of modern music that they want to listen to. It's just, this is unique for me.
so what am I doing today? Well, I think I'm taking the day off. It was hard. It was a hard re-entry from vacation last week. Um, I don't know if this is a sign of getting older or not, but it just took a while to get my sleep regulated again. And, uh, you know, even this morning I slept a lot later than I normally do. Aches and pains that I didn't have, but exercising that I haven't done, uh, that I got to get back into. So yeah, it's been a, it's been kind of a hard re-entry. Um, wife has not been feeling great and not, nothing serious, but just, you know, feeling off because probably because we ate a lot of a lot different than our diet has been uh, for the past six, eight months. You know, we, we, we did eat quite a bit differently. Uh, so that might be part of it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm hoping that next week I can bring that energy level back up again. Uh, start with some exercising tomorrow morning and, and move into the week. Get a good night's sleep tonight. But today I'm just not going to do very much. I do have to continue working on Justin's pipes, uh, made a lot of progress on them. The, the hope is that I'm going to have a auction to benefit Justin's family. Uh, in I'm going to do it on Friday night during my Friday night live stream and I'm going to do that in two weeks. So not this Friday but the next one. If anybody is interested and you know doesn't have access, you know, can't make the Friday night live stream, let me know, and you know maybe we can do something different. If anybody wants to just contribute, we can we'll work something out. But I want to I want to check in with Justin's family first and make sure that they're okay with this um, before I start, you know, collecting money or anything like that. So so just hang tight. I'll probably have some updates next week. Um, and if anybody has anything they'd like to toss in, uh, I mean, I don't want to make it too crazy, but uh, James Stumbo has made some beautiful uh, pipe, a pipe stand and a pipe uh, tobacco tray. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, that's in the mail, and I can't wait to show that off, and that's going to be in the auction. I've got the two Cobb mods that are going to be in there. I have a tin of something special that I'm probably going to throw in. And, uh, you know, that's enough. But if anybody else would like to chip something in, let me know. I just don't want, I don't want to go too crazy. So don't, don't think you have to or that I'm, you know, expecting a lot of folks. But if you really feel strongly about it, uh, especially if maybe you knew Justin, uh, feel free. Well, that's about it. Um, I've babbled long enough. I'm going to let you get back to your Sunday. So you all take care, enjoy your Sunday, have a great week ahead, and until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.